All right, um, hello everyone. This is a bit amateur streaming to you live this Sunday. Time is 1 13 p.m. I'm streaming from the East Coast. Let's go ahead and hop right into this. Um, yesterday, we had huge, huge, huge revelation. Um, turns out that the mastermind behind um, this alternate reality we found ourselves in was none other than Dr. Maruki himself. Um, again, this is a um, this is the exclusive um, Persona 5 content. So, um, I mean, this is the exclusive Persona 5 Royal content. So we are in spoiler territory. So if you are someone that is planning on playing the game yourself, um, some big plot twists are happening and um, I do not want to spoil that for you. So I would advise against watching further. Um, if you've already seen it or you don't care, then um, you know, feel free to feel free to hang out. Um, but yeah, so we basically red pilled all our friends, and our friends are like, "Hey, we're gonna help you stop this uh, dream world thing from happening." So that's where we are now. Hey, man, Def, good good afternoon. How are you? <laughs> How's uh how's your your uh, dissertation slash uh, destiny child hunt going? I mean, I saw I saw your drops in the um in the uh, the chat the the uh, honeybee chat. Just for those of you who don't know, that's a reference to um, um, a Discord channel. Hi, hey, friend. I'm dying, but alive in here. <laughs> Well, it's good to know that you're alive. It's good to know that you're alive at least. Yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't imagine um, doing a, a dissertation. Like I'm just, I'm just up to here okay. with um, the one class that I'm taking. I can't even imagine doing a dissertation. Destiny Child drops our eye. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah, I need to finish the dungeon because I, I know you had mentioned um, Seth. And uh, I'm trying to get Seth as well. I think I need to do just one more battle. And I'll have it all together. Head into the palace today, yeah? A good idea, I'd say. Although we mustn't rush, of course. Yeah, honestly, if we want to accomplish anything, we gotta get out there. I agree. Is that alright, leader? Let's go. Hell yeah, let's secure her out to the treasure. In that case, let's meet at the hideout after school. Okay. Linted, what's up? How you doing? <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Just uh, talking to Mandef about Destiny Child. <laughs> I love that name. I love that name. It's so good. Should we tell Yoshizawa? Well, we should probably still leave her alone. Seems everyone has arrived. Let's begin. February 3rd is the date we agreed on with Dr. Maruki. We gotta go find that treasure already. Once that date passes, it's over. We all get that, right? <laughs> we'll have to discover a route by February 2nd, to be more precise. That's another way to look at it. Nice, you actually remembered. Yeah. Of course I did. <laughs> it wouldn't be a terrible idea to secure our route sooner rather than later. It must be deliberate, however. We have no idea what's going to happen. Right. Lynn said that I have the turf for your gambling stream and I live for it. <laughs> That's what I want to see. That's what I want to see. Linton has been on top. Um, I I was only able to challenge Linton for a day and then I got just knocked off and hurled into oblivion. So <laughs> I'm rooting for the underdog. I'm rooting for the underdog in this race. Um, because Lint has been on top since the, the casino first opened. <laughs> yeah, Dr. Marugi's pretty much got the power of a god. I doubt anything's going to go smoothly. We better not let our guard down. Very well. Let us go. Yeah, so like this is usually my strategy. Um 
you know, try to knock out the oh, um, the the route, and then focus on social relationships and all that stuff later. Hello, everyone. Sumire. Why are you here? You're going to fight Dr. Maruki, yes? Please, take me with you. Uh, but yeah, I would definitely do that too. Yeah, like yeah. That. It just makes the most sense. Please, I'm done running away. I can't keep relying on people like Senpai. I want to live life as Sumire. <laughs> Color me impressed. Looks like she'll do just fine here. Let's do this. Thank you. In that case, we gotta come up with a code name for you. A what now? It wouldn't be right if you were the only one going by your real name, you know? Okay, if you need me, I'll be working right. on this presentation. I need to finish and record by Tuesday. <laughs> Let me know if you have any questions or need anything. Oh, thank you so much, Madam. That's very sweet of you. I definitely will. Joker, got any suggestions? <laughs> Appetite? <laughs> Leotard, Violet. Oh, that's right. Sumire in English is Violet. Yeah, that sounds awesome. Violet, yes, let's go with that. Excellent. Now remember everyone, Violet, not Violent, Violet. <laughs> yes, thank you for clarifying. I am surrounded by absolute fools. <laughs> Are we done? We should probably get moving. I know, I know, jeez. Come on, Violet, let's roll. Yeah. Um. <sighs> All right. Hold on, let me take a look real quick. Yes. There's a locked security door here. I'd say this is the best place to investigate. Except I'm getting some weird shadow readings, so be careful. Joker! That's over in front of the auditorium. Let's get going. Alright, so the team is all here. So, let's see. We got Kachi, Sumire. So, I'm gonna keep Kachi and Sumire. I'm pretty satisfied with this uh, team comp, honestly. I'll just add this. spawn in this area. You usually find them in other places. Like <laughs> through that door. Oh. Alright, just a little more to go. Violet, are you holding up okay? Yes. Sorry, it's just I feel a little off. My outfit! Looks like it's not stable yet. I let my guard down for a second, but I swear I'm fine. So sorry for making you all worry. That's fine and all, but don't hold us back either. If you push yourself harder than you're capable of handling, you'll endanger everyone on your side too. Security level crazy! <laughs> Security level crazy. <laughs> They're fast, but I don't know what the heck they are. We better move it. Should we get back to it? 
Things start looking bad, we'll retreat right away. Until then, we'll back you up for everything we've got. Appreciate it, but allow me. I chose to stand on my own and fight. It's time I stopped being helpless. I hung my head low and took your hand. But I knew all along, deep down, pretending to be Kasumi was not the right way. The weak, insecure Sumire dies today! Violet! You were the one! The only one who stayed true to yourself! Come, Sandrion! If you don't answer my call now... How else can we make our dream come true? Such tenacity... It seems to fit you better than ever before. The glass slippers are the icon of glory. Your secretary, thanks for the follow. <laughs> Can never have too many secretaries. Stops you from getting confused. But the other girl within you as well. I am thou. Thou art I. Are you prepared for your debut? The ball awaits. Certainly. Am I here? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, nice, nice. <laughs> Am I here, baby? <laughs> Don't say that word, you know, brother. <laughs> well, thank you for coming by. Thank you for the follow. I definitely appreciate it. I definitely appreciate it. Listen to Dr. Manda, Phil. Listen to Dr. Manda. Because if she, if she wants to scold you, I can't stop her. <laughs> That's it. I like it. I like it. She's back. I'm done running from myself. Yeah, you tell him. Go, Violet. Give him hell. Yes. Let's do this, Sandrion. <laughs> That's what Nick calls you. Did you forget? Okay, I'm out. See ya. <laughs> Oh, too funny, too funny. Show them, Sandrion! All enemies are down. Thanks, Violet. Payback time. Beat him up. A perfect ten. Yeah, that worked. Very nice. Sorry for troubling you. I'll be fine now. You were as impressive as always out there. Well done, Violet. Thank you. I still have a lot to learn, though. I promise I'll do my best not to slow you down. Come on, you don't have to be so formal with us. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> Sumire is so sexy. Yes. Yes, she is. And the same goes for you, too, Joker Senpai. She's all aces. I'm gonna redeem that 1v1. Be ready. <laughs> I hope you'll still be there for me. Just <laughs> come get that self esteem boost. <laughs> I am thou. Thou art I. My vow stands renewed in pursuit.
pursuit of the truth. In breaking free of doubt, the chain that impedes thee is thy strength of heart made manifest. With the rebirth of the faith persona, thou hast obtained the winds of blessing that shall guide thee to the furthest depths. been re-unlocked <laughs> all right let's kick some ass yes let's press onward which that makes so much sense now yes so the shadow has been behaving unusually because of that ambush but well, we might have been to run through the ringer but we have a mission here let's check out that door ah yes you're right I completely forgot yeah, the, easy to forget. A lot happened like the last two seconds. Mm -hmm. Took a look around, but it looks like it was built so it can be accessed by anyone else. You'll need an ID for the door. <laughs> that lock means there's some, there's got to be something important in there, though. Let's go get an ID. But first, we need some sort of clue. Hmm? Oh, look. Yes, their ambush attempt failed. Now they're examining the authentication device. They're not getting anywhere without this ID, though. This is the end of the line for them. What's up, Oracle? Mm -hmm. I intercepted some communication between the shadows. Our hunts finally come to an end. That shadow over there has, has one. Yeah. Looks like you're snooping. I mean, your tech. <laughs> Looks like you're snooping. I mean, your tech skills came in handy again. I didn't even spot that shadow. Mm -hmm. I don't think he knows I heard him. Why don't you ambush him for the ID? You can't reach him from in here, though. You have to go around and back and through the auditorium. Yes. Understood. We need to take that hall up ahead. Let's go. Alright, so that's the route we gotta go. Just for symmetry's sake. I knew there wasn't anything in there, but I can feel it. I'll reveal your true form. Feel your true form. Now's our chance. There's an enemy that can be used. Psychokinesis. 
Let's go. Okay, so they can block curse. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Hello, welcome to the stream. How you doing? How's your uh, Sunday going? Yeah, they really made us work for that one. Have you tinkered in the Velvet Room? I've tinkered too. <laughs> I've tinkered too much in the Velvet Room. Um, I think at this point, hey, it's Adastros. Adastros, is that it? <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Yeah, no, I've I've uh, I've tinkered too much uh, in the Velvet Room. I was talking to Mandef, and she was telling me how like my social links. Um, if I max out my teammate social links, I'll get a nice surprise. Um, and I already got an evolution from Morgana. So if I have time, if I have time, I will try to get uh, Fafnir, but um, I don't know if I'll have time to like, max everyone out. So I have to max out literally everyone um, because I've spent too much time in Mementos in the past. That's not right. Because I want to see like the story related stuff. And that's what it's always been for me anyway, you know. Though, um, the personas that I do have have been extremely helpful, so I appreciate you and Mandef and the other uh, persona pros for telling me about Lucifer and Alice and these really powerful personas that I have. But yeah, if I can, if I have the time to fuse Fafnir, I definitely will. But I have like a month before the climax of the game. And I don't know if I'm gonna have enough time to do all the social links and uh, use for him. As we all know how much of a grind that can be. Especially if you don't already have um, all of the personas that you need. I am still trying to catch new ones though. So like I got Chimera, but I haven't had an opportunity to um, register him yet. They haven't given me access to the metaverse. Like I spoke to Lavenza and she's like, yeah, we're gonna help you when we can. We just can't do it right now. And it's like, all right, <laughs> cool. I'll just I'll just keep my uh, Chimera until you're, you guys are able to do that. I know I just look at this person's weakness. Oh, it's weak the curse. What am I doing? Mind up the man of my arrival, so here I be. New name, by the way. Oh, nice, nice. So, uh, what's the reference? What's the reference of the name? Because, like, it's... It's, like, Ad Astra, but, like, probably not. I, I'm, I'm familiar with the Latin, the Latin expression. Well, there are persona who are third semester only. That's true, so I must get that opportunity soon, then. Probably after I finish this file, so let me go back. Like, for example, um, Maria. 
can only begin in the third semester because Kasumi doesn't max out until she like reassumes her identity as Sumire. Out at her. The Velvet Room does not take time slots. No, Velvet Room doesn't take time slots, but if you don't have what you need, then you have to go and find the, uh, the Personas. But if I already have everything I need, then yeah, I will I will just go ahead and do it. Alright, so we're just gonna have to go down the list here. Okay, resistance to the watcher. Mata, Fafka, Maria, those are their semester only. Hey, what's up, Dream? Uh, this guy is tough. This guy is super tough. Tough near repair is physical and done, so they're. That's where I had actually represented to the side. When I first started to switch things based off of the ancient Roman gladiator names. Ah, okay, that makes perfect sense. Because it sounds like a, uh, a Latin, Latin name. It used to be Ad Astros Gaming, but I condensed it down to a terrible dad joke. Hey, it's Ad Astros. I got it. I love that. I love ancient Roman history and Latin. Yeah, no, it's it's always it's always interesting, especially considering so much of um, Western language and vernacular is based off of that. It's important to know. Totally that I had lunch with my sister and parents. Probably take a nap soon though. <laughs> nice. I'm excited that you got the name's origin. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, though, no, I, I, um, you know, I love me some, uh, Greco-Roman history as well, you know, um, that was a, that was an interesting time for humanity, you know, literally the cradle of civilization, you had the Middle East, the Mediterranean, uh, Southern Europe, Northern Africa, and that was, like, the place where everything was happening in the world, um, really interesting. And then, of course, you know, um, Pompeii guy. He's uh, he's my favorite. Because archaeologists found him uh, flogging the log at at the point at which Pompeii exploded. So, like, he saw the fire and brimstone coming, and he's like, you know what? I'm going to try to rub one off before I die. And so, an imprint of him actually doing that is still, like, stuck in the, uh, in the rock. <laughs> in that village and um he's a legend he's a legend got up super early for majora's last randomizer stream so like like we're talking like 7 a.m early like how early because i slept in i literally woke up like not even an hour ago Best way to deal with is divine judgment, demanded decree, half the HP, and Fafne is not resistant to curse. Yeah, I think I've got a persona who can do just that. Um, actually, the only persona that I know that can do just that. You're literally one of the first to mention my name's language of origin. <laughs> I feel flattered. I feel flattered. It's not, it's not often, it's not often, um, that you meet people, especially in a Twitch community that's familiar with the classics. I love this show, Time. What? Oh, wow. This guy is, this guy is going in. All right, let's see. Uh, I probably won't be able to do that. Yeah, no. Just keep healing. How about this? Looks 
<laughs> you need a nap emote, man, though. True. And yeah, so much happened in that time influenced things that we do right now today. Such a freaking wild time in the history of civilization. Yes. Um, so literally so much happened. You know, and that's where we get the concept of, uh, of cultural diffusion. Um, so when you're dealing with people who want to make arguments um, that cultural uh, homogeny is the way to go, um, I always point them to ancient Rome <laughs> because Rome literally learned from everybody. You know, um, they took the Greek pantheon um, and they, they took, um, you know, uh, sciences and technologies that were being developed in, you know, Greece and Northern Africa. Um, their food, they pulled from a variety of influences from the people that they uh, were able to conquer. Going all the way into uh, the Middle East, right? So, if you read the biblical account, you read about the Roman Empire because they were there. <laughs> they were they were in Israel around the time of Jesus. So, Roman Empire, very big uh, influence on history, and they learned. They learned from everyone. So, that was their strength. Kind of, um, you know respecting um, the culture of others until they got to the point where they were the dominant culture. Yep, started the run at like 7.15 a.m. Oh, wow. That's that's wild, dude. No wonder you needed that. 7.15 <laughs> a.m., that is, that is early. Uh, I, stayed up, I stayed up super late um, last night. Can we bring Breath to the Arena though? <laughs> if you if you um, call if you call esports uh, esports uh, competitions as the modern day arena, uh, I guess you could say we do have it. Like South Korea takes um, esports very 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 seriously. Like they get government subsidies and, and shit like that. It, it's it's real. And I've never been a part of like an official League of Legends esports event, but you know I've seen a live stream, and um, it's pretty gladiator esque, man. It's <laughs> just the crowd gets wild, you know, the plays are happening, and everyone's watching these guys just duke it out. Oh man, I got wiped. I saw that coming though. I mean, the, the monster is literally immune to everything. Um, and I'm also talking to chat, so, you know, whatever, start over again. <laughs> Are you not entertained? <laughs> yes, exactly. It's literally, it's literally, it. that's why I love, that's why I love, um, esports. I'm a huge fan of esports. Early bird special stream, Dizzy does lower accuracy though. Yeah, I didn't go to bed till like 2 a.m. Yeah, exactly. Can't be inflicted or forget. I just want to see the gladiator fighting. <laughs> yeah. Inside the technical too. I want a sexy hand massage by a Korean hottie. <laughs> yeah, I I thought I thought the hand masseuses were a meme, but they're not. Like they they're real. Um and the esports teams um hire them as like part of their, their wellness their wellness strategy. Try forget vials. Oh yeah, that's right. Forget vials are pretty nice too. Cause like the boss pretty much combos. Welcome to the Velvet Room. But now we have like a non god of control Igor talking to me. So there's no jail, and I'm not in prisoner's clothes. <laughs> I have been waiting. But you know everything's metaphors. Like literally everything's metaphors. I love League of Legends esports tournaments. Yeah, exactly. You saw it coming. <laughs> Gachi base. Fafnir is not invulnerable to forget. Okay, so he can he can get. I, I mean, it makes sense. Like you, you can't have a persona that's literally immune to everything. It just be OP. They have to have some weakness. But um, I imagine was that who I was fighting? Was that Fafnir? But, like thinking about the gladiators. Some of them prisoned by Romans and forced to fight to death at times for the enjoyment of Romans. 
There were gladiators that were just encapsulated all for glory. They became gods while being slaves captured. Yeah, no, it's heavy. It's heavy. Um, the Roman Empire, the gladiator arena was used for all kinds of bar barbaric um, acts. I mean, having having uh, slaves and prisoners fight to the death was one thing, but um, you also had, um, uh, shall we say, um, uh, slave women featured in... Um, sexual acts that they did not consent to uh for the amusement of um the, the onlookers as well literally anything went on in the, in the uh, coliseum um so the gladiator fights were the most common one and then you know enemies of the empire as well um they were oftentimes featured in the gladiators arena to be torn asunder by lions and other uh wild animals uh, for the amusement of the romans of course, we have we have uh, digitized versions of ritualized violence, um, so no one is actually hurt. But um, you know, you could definitely see um, that the the appetite for the call team has not changed. Just the venue and how we do it has. Indeed, your change in appearance must also be due to the rebellious spirit you've harbored for so long. And with that spirit, you appear to have grasped a new possibility as well. What do you mean? Then... The current you should be capable of using your personas. Please make good use of this to keep the room at bay. Very well. We will continue to provide aid on your perilous journey. Now to your business. Alright, so let's see what we can actually What's fuse. Because that's important. No, let's see. 176? One, yeah, 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 yeah. That's an old file. We don't need that anymore. First fuse Osura to try or RNG Osura from the network fusion. Fuck this trade is garbage to be honest. So let's see if we can get him. I'm probably gonna have to pull up the uh, calculator. Um, Welcome to the Velvet Room. It's just so freaking deep, you know, these gladiators basically beaten to the point of submission to ancient Rome. Yes, yes. And like Every every empire has like a um, a culture of of violence. I like to refer to it as martial meditations, um, because you know you want you want um, people to be kind of okay with the idea of um, aggression. The compendium, yes. Because you are an empire. Will you be and registering? Empires, you know, Would they you like to register fight. This to the compendium? <laughs> Um, and you're on the offense more than you're on the defense. Um, so, you know, the United States is no different. And we learned a lot from the Roman Empire um, and how we, you know, celebrate violence. And video games is the most popular uh, example of that. So if you look at Call of Duty or Battlefield or any of those games, the DoD is always involved. Like, they're always brought in as consultants uh, when those games are being developed uh, because of that reason. You know, there's a, there's a strategic... Um, and political reason behind all the first-person shooters and military sims and mill sims and all of that as well. Um, so yeah, when in Rome, do as the Romans do. And we're kind of... We're like the new Rome, so to speak. Of course, it's a bit of a misnomer because, you know, we are... Performing a fusion? The United States is the most powerful empire in human history. But, compared to the ancient world, we'd be the Rome. At that time. Which persona will you send? All right, let's see. Do I have anyone OP? No, nope, I'm gonna have to do fusion. So hopefully I have. Hopefully I have everyone that I need. Let's do. Let's check fuse by result just to see what which we can get. Which persona are you looking for? Okay, so we have Fafnir, which is who Noak was mentioning. So we can definitely do Fafnir. Aliad, who's that? Do you wish to fuse this? It's a Mesopotamian booba crystal. Okay, that's what it is. <laughs> that is that's crazy. Um Nibiros, Belial, Bezabub, Confuse of Asara to give Fafnir. Less blood, more pixels? <laughs> yeah. Less enslavement, more consensual entertainers. Exactly, exactly. You know, um, um, Morals evolve over time, you know. Um, there's there's people who try to make the argument that morality 
uh, is not subjective, but all you have to do is open the history book to know that that's false. It is very, very subjective. Um, and so we just choose to be kinder than previous generations. Um, it literally is a choice. It literally is a choice. It seems to hold a vast amount of power. Yeah, we're gonna do. We're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. Cause I mean, look at look at his resistances. Like, you guys saw what happened. You saw what happened. You know, I <laughs> I fought Fafnir and lost. So the question is, which combo I want to go with? Uh, I'm gonna resummon Alice because Alice is Alice. Cert, I didn't use all that much, so I'm it probably not gonna resummon Cert. Power. But um. I guess what I'm trying to figure out is what skills I want him to have, because, of course, you inherit skills from each one. Try to get Nibirus, but Lyo, Beezabos, and RNG SRO from that root fusion. I think I have... I think I have Belial and Nibirus. Beezabob, I'm not sure if I have him, or Beelzebub. This fuse was real from group fusion. My internet wasn't great, but I'm back now. Okay, welcome back, Lindsay. Yeah, I wonder where you were gone, because you were in the chat earlier, then you were just gone. <laughs> Tiberius, Delisle, Bees Above, Confuse, and Foster. They get Fafnir, Delisle, and Nibirios. Um, okay. But I do have them. The government has been using media and tools, uh, media and such as tools for a very long time remember top gun yeah i joined the navy because of that movie Your tactics were very very true very true Dastros. um there was actually a uh, a study done on the effect of top gun that they, uh the navy and air force saw an enrollment spike of around 40 percent after that movie came out 40 percent you know so that's like it matters. It matters. Media matters. Um, and so the gladiators arena in ancient Rome served its purpose. And, um, you know, our, our media industrial complex serves its purpose, you know, from the war movies and video games and all of that. Um, yeah, it, it, it matters. It matters. Alright, I think I'm going to go with this fusion, and the reason why is because I can literally give Fafnir some of Lucifer's skills, and some of, I cannot pronounce her name, it's a, it's like a, uh, it's a Gaelic, I think, Gaelic name, and I just cannot, like, it's Skathak or something like that, but I know I'm saying it wrong, because there's a, there's a different rule of, 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 pronunciation that you have to go through with uh, Gaelic names, and I always get them wrong. <laughs> yeah, media is an entertainment movie television. You need Osiris trait. Okay, so let's see. What is Osiris trait? Vast of power. It seems to hold a vast amount of power. Oh wait, I don't have Osiris trait. That's what you're trying to tell me. I need to summon him again. Let me see if I have. Did you change your mind? I feel like I have him. In which case, I could just summon him. You wish to browse the entries? Oh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, B. Anubis, Swaras, blah, blah blah. Okay, yeah, sir. Sure. Go right here. You would like to overwrite it. So what's his trait? Let's let's see. Increases increases the chance of insta kills. So is that the um, is that the trait you were talking about? Definitely illness, or is it another one? Is Fafnir's trait is garbage. <laughs> Need also trait or Allura wisdom? Yes. Is Allura wisdom transferable? Because some traits can't be transferable. We're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. Um, I'm gonna try to fuse um, Lucifer and get the Allura of wisdom. Um, well, I, I do have Osiris as well, so you can kind of play around with that. Oh no. Is that, that the trait he was supposed to have, or did I get rid of it? Because usually they'll let you choose, um, traits. Like, uh, that transferable trait, that master trait. But I think only during alarm fusions. I'm not sure. 
Atomic Hellscape. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we gotta go with Plan B then. Awaken your new self. As I mean, I could go backwards and like fuse for um, performing a fusion. Fuse for it. But which persona are you looking for? Lucifer doesn't fuse with. Asura to give me Fafnir. So let's see if Confused we're gonna get. Let's see if we can transfer Allure of Wisdom. Let's see if the game lets us do it. Yeah, I can do that. Choose which skill to inherit. Yep. Boom. So we got that. Let me transfer it over. So. All right. Looking, judging from his um, his resistances. We don't need high counter. I mean, Lucifer didn't even need high counter. He already repels it. Um, increases SP cost of skills by half. Yeah, I mean, half of 75%. I don't really need that. Because I already have a lure of wisdom, which gives me 75% reduction. 75% is amazing. Reflects Bless. Okay, yeah, we'll replow Bless because he doesn't have any resistances to Bless. Um, freeze boost. Maybe, maybe not. Nullifies fire attacks. He, already, he actually heals from fire attacks. Increases SP cost of skills by half. Already went over that. Decreases recovery time from elements to one turn. I like that. Okay. He is vulnerable to some things. Okay, so you're saying he's a nuke persona. Yeah, because he's got Cosmic Flare. Debilitate, Makaran, Debilitate, Divine Judgment. Megidola. Hmm. We'll give him Despair. Divine Judgment? Don't really know if I need that, but I do want Debilitate. Spellmaster stacks before it wasn't. Oh, it does stack. Okay. Well, then we want that. So why not? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go ahead and do that. And then I can resummon the both of them. I don't have a freaking... Um, Notepad up there. Need to do that. I am Fafnir. As long as you wield my mask, the gold will be ours for the taking. I like the sound of that. I, li I like the sound of gold. Keeping the coffers full. Nice. Alright, so Cosmic Flare, severe new damage to all foes, severe new damage. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Could not be more satisfied with how that turned out. All right, so let me go and pull up my notepad. I just have to leave a note for myself. Okay, so Mata is um, it's the ultimate fire. Let me see something real quick, because I think... Wait, that wasn't supposed to be running in the background. I had like another Twitch stream of my Twitch stream running. But um, I'm going to go ahead and open up the fusion calculator.
Okay, so social link has to be maxed. Did you may luck be on your side? Not yet. It would be weird if I could walk around the room. But anyway. So we're gonna pull up our confidant list and see who the tower is. Tower, 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 tower. Okay, so we can't get Mata yet because we still need to max out um, our social stat. But that is Lucifer. That uh, Max Moon. What is Max Moon? Mishima. I, I forgot. I literally forgot. Um, and I had a uh, I had a document too that told me all of that. Oh, never mind. I do have it. It's right here. So maxed out. Moon. It's Soundophon, which I already have. I literally have Soundophon. And then Max Sun is Asura, which we have. And then Max Judgment is Satan. I already have Satan. So we've maxed out um, Faith of Kasumi. Kasumi is now Sumire, so now we have to boost Sumire back up to max and then of course Morgana and um, you know prison master or max out on as well so as far as we know we got to just do the social links but we don't want to waste time and get things that we don't want so yeah I think we'll just focus on um, Focus on our teammates. Use network fusion. Mata is max tower, so now. Yeah, exactly. That's why I was uh, trying to, to determine that. Alright, um, let's see here. So we did the fusion, and now I want to resummon. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Two of my persona. You summon. You wish to browse the entries. And target list. And go to L. You would like to over. You wish to summon this person. You may take it with you then. Okay. So that's done. And now, where is the other one? It's Anushi and Vishnu. Oh yeah, that's right. I can uh, summon them. Let's take a look at who they are. It's a new sheet. Okay, Futsunushi is level 86 magician and only weak to nuclear. I say that's worth. And all I would need is just one of the fusion. I mean, Fafnir can get me. It's Anushi. Let's look at his skills. Will of the Sword. Charge type effects 200 damage. Instead, we got to concentrate. Deal 2 to 3 times. He's got some really good skills. Yeah, he does. He has some really good skills. Um, and since we're maxed out with Morgana, we can actually fuse him if we wanted to. You wish to browse the entries? Let me get Lucy back. All right, so we have Lucy, and then there, there is Skatha. You would like to overwrite it? Oh yeah, that's right. I'm full up. I've got to make room. But we're gonna try to do a fusion, so performing a fusion? Which persona will you send? 
Let's see. Do I already have them? Fafnir. Fafnir's been registered, so that doesn't matter. There we go. It seems to hold a vast amount of power. Yeah, only 50,000, yeah, I'm gonna work with that. Alright, so yeah, skillful combo, Blur of Wisdom, Will of Sword. Yeah, we want that one, Will of the Sword is, from what the uh, calculator is telling me, it's pretty good, pretty, pretty good. Um, so, let's see what else we want to have. Flex Bless, decreases SP cost of skills. Yeah, we want that. Definitely want that. Um, Ego Mancha and Forget, Despair. I think, I think uh, Ominous Words would be more suitable for him. I heard some kid yelling outside. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> I am Futsunushi. I am the god of the swords which once conquered this land. I shall temper the blade of your heart. Alright, cool. Alright, regenerate 3, not really worried about it. I want damage. <laughs> That's all I want. I want damage. Um, Alright, colossal physical damage to all foes, colossal physical to one foe, and then Myriad Slashes, which is medium physical damage. This looks like a bad skill because it doesn't say colossal, but it hits 2-3 to three times and you can crit. So, we're going to keep it. But wait, what am I doing? I already said I don't want this. Ooh, okay. This one, I like. I like this one a lot. So, you don't get evasion. You lose evasion, but the damage is cut in half. And I'm not exactly going with an evasion build, so it makes sense for me to not have the skill. However, however, I have other teammates with the skill. Yeah, we'll swap this out. Alright, let's look at this skill. Calculator says. Okay, yeah, so it's just an automatic attack boost. For your whole team. So, this is a really good skill. Um, hmm, yeah, I'll swap out ominous words. We don't, we don't need that. We don't need that. Almighty Amp. Strengthens Almighty skills. I'm not, I'm not gonna give him an Almighty, I'm, I'm not gonna do it. I'm, I'm not gonna give. I'm not gonna give him an almighty skill. I can do it. Um. All right. So we've taken care of him. We have him on a team. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna keep him for sure. For sure. Um. So let's look at our current roster before Did I you leave. Take May luck be on your side? Because I think. There might be one more that Noak had mentioned. There's like one more persona that we can use. Alright, so there's Futsunushi, the Spurs, Algonian, Siegfried. Okay, there's a Chimera, which we just 
I just did um, that for compendium reasons. So if anything, I can just strengthen one of my existing persona now that I have him registered. But I don't not gonna use him. He doesn't have a range of skills. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Let's see. Awaken your new self. Do you wish to strengthen it? All right. Full strength in Futsunushi. It seems it would produce a fair result. Yeah, just give me a little boost of stats. I'll take it. All right, let's take a look here at chat. Twelve master works for magic. You need an arms master. Spell master is useless for Yoshisune. Yoshisune's group. Ah, okay. That sucks. The. Uh, Fusion Calculator didn't tell me that. Cause like they have like a skill descriptions and they tell you what the skills do. But um, it would have been nice if they said, hey, by the way, don't. <laughs> you can't really use this skill. But you know, it, it... we'll manage, we'll manage. We'll manage. Um, yeah, that's just a weaker skill. We don't need that. Um, all right. There was another, there was another persona that you mentioned. It was Yoshitsune, and it wasn't Mata, it was a third one. Or maybe I'm just remembering incorrectly. And I've got Fusion Brain. Oh, Vishnu, yeah, 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 Vishnu, Vishnu, yes. Um, let's see. Let's pull up the calculator again. Vishnu, 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 Vishnu. Alright. So Vishnu is for full Arcana, so we can definitely summon Vishnu. And we have... Let's see. Narcissus and Thoft will give you Vishnu. That's what they say. So, let's see. Because what I might do is just advance a day and then just do a network fusion. And then that way I don't have Did to... Did you change your mind? May luck be on your side. That way I don't have to get rid of a persona. Because I'm going to need to get rid of two persona. To do that. To do that fusion properly. Unless it's just a persona here that I'm not really going to use, in which case, then it wouldn't matter. Hmm. Well, let's see. We're trying to work on Ultimate Fire Guy. I mean, Cert's, Cert's still good. I just don't use him that much. So maybe there'd be Cert. And Raphael, Gabriel, I use them for, like, cleansing and resing. Like, Morgana can do it, but I like having a plan B, you know, just in case. Then, of course, it's Metatron, Siegfried, Dalgon again. So, yeah, like, literally, the personas I do have, I like a lot. I really like a lot. Um, alright. So, that's what I probably will do. I'm just gonna go ahead and advance a day. And then that way I won't have to get rid of an extra persona. But, um... This works. Let's see... Yeah, we'll organize it that way. And then I don't really care what order these are in. Alright. Let's do it. So we'll go ahead, save our game, advance a day, and then, um... Do the network fusion. Welcome to the Velvet Room. May luck be on your side. Indeed. Yeah, the vibes are definitely different in this room. Like, that's for sure. Vishnu is from False Igor. Vavrum will wave Yoshitsune, then strengthen Yoshitsune. Try to fuse Yoshitsune. Okay. So fuse Yoshitsune first, and then get Vishnu from Yoshitsune. So, I've already done that, and then we're going to...
Okay, here's Rufusion. Fishing from Yoshitsune? <laughs> Why? Oh, I thought that's what you were saying. I thought that's what you were saying. Um, summon Vishnu. And then Yoshitsune should just be separate. you is from Yoshisune. Ah, okay. So we do... Hold on, let me see here. Persona. Alright, yeah. I knew I was forgetting something. I need, uh, I need to get um, Fafnir back. I literally went through all of that to walk out without the Persona that I really wanted. Welcome to the Velvet Room. The compendium, yes? What will you be registering? Would you like to register this to the compendium? Yeah, do that. You wish to browse the entries? You would like to... You wish to summon this person? You may take it with you, then. And I've got to arrange his skills may as well. May luck be on your side. Because it's a mess. <laughs> a chance of the spirit of one of them, medium chance of fear at all, fossil. All right, looks much better. Much neater, much easier to understand. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Yes, you see, they need Futsunushi, another persona. Yeah, I think I have like most of them. Awaken your noose performing effusion. To whom will you give birth? Yeah, so I need Okinushi, which I can probably get through Network Fusion. And then these guys I already have. Well, let's ask the fusion calculator. Maybe I can. But it auto summons for group fusion. Yeah, which is like amazing. <laughs> Could you imagine having to um, summon each individual persona and then do a group fusion? That would suck. So I'm glad uh, Atlas does not force us to do that. That would be a pain in the ass. Um, all right. How do we get this guy? Unicorn and Queen's Necklace, Hope Diamond, Queen Map, Thoth. Yeah, I think I confuse. I think I confuse this guy. Pretty sure I confuse this guy. So I think I have those two. Forming a fusion. You wish to strengthen it. All right. So strengthen. Faster. It seems it would produce a fair result. Raphael was not the one I was attending. I meant to uh, get Siegfried, but I'll have to make room anyway, so. Yeah, we want that. Alright. Oh, sweet. You can debilitate? Oh, yeah, I want that. Um. <laughs> a random a random fire skill okay um, a really good fire skill too um, all right all 
All right, where was he? Yeah, yeah, secret. So let's take a look here. Green curse at pupil. I counter. Hmm. Probably should keep him. Probably. All right, so we'll we'll stick to the plan. Indeed. And technically, I should write something. I'm not going to advance the day just yet, because I still need to maximize my time. All right. Wait, why does it not list Chi Yu? Yeah. New camp is better than Insta Hill. Insta Hill is a man. Yeah, that's what that's what I figure. Like, um, you know, it's it's what like being able to recover from an element one uh turn sooner is nice, but at the same time it's like <laughs> But uh, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I need to run to the restroom, so we're gonna go in mission mode.
All right, we're back. All right, so we run into Fafnir again, which we will. We can just put the two Fafnirs against each other and see which Fafnir is better. Hmm. So we're gonna see if like all the cutscenes play out. It should, but it's not gonna matter. I'm just gonna skip everything since we've already seen it. Oh. Yeah. We're just gonna skip past all this part. This I got blew up. I can see it. This can still happen again. We can take a breather here. Better throw forget the bell and use the Psy skill, which is why I wanted Psy. Got you, got you. So if anything, we should have um, Haru as a part of the team. Because I think I don't have any Psy skills in my current roster. So I'll just add this. We'll swap Ryuji out. Because Ryuji can't really do anything to him because Ryuji is more physical focused. At least that's how I go for the skills, so. Let's add Haru. Alright, so gang's all here. Let's get that. Ah, right, she used the chariot. That's why you're saying that. For you, just gotta be maxed out. Yeah, that makes sense. That's it. I'm done running for myself. Yeah, you tell him. Go violent! Give him hell! Yes! Let's do this, Santrion! Dance, Persona! Show them, Santrion! <laughs> But have you, you have Max Ryuji, right? No, I haven't. That's what I was telling you um, uh, when you came into the stream. I have to, like, go back and max out all of my teammates' social links because I've neglected them. I spent too much time um, running mementos and not, you know, hanging out with the, with the team. All right. Yes. Was that a time it didn't seem uh, too important because, you know, the end of Persona 5, like, it wasn't necessary. Like, I beat, I beat Vanilla Persona 5 and I didn't max out all of my teammates' social links and did just fine. But Royal is adding like more content. That's for us. that's literally um, impacted by social links. So me not knowing that originally have made that mistake. I but I have a month to fix it, which is why I'm trying to get the treasure route so secured fishy. now, so I can just focus on um, getting everyone's social links up. Just like random items and things like that. Show me your true form.
If I were a developer, we'd be like, no Max Temple teammate, you cannot get to them at the Thanos snap in Houston during that time. <laughs> yeah, I thought I thought that was um, I thought that's what was going to happen, like literally, because I'm like, well, I'm not max level with uh, my teammates, and they're all in this fantasy world, so <laughs> you know. Just trash after all. Okay, let's move on. Are they even gonna listen to me at all? But I think, you know, the fact that you had awakened them originally and, you know, had made it to where they were able to first develop their personas, I guess that's enough, or at least that was the reasoning that Atlas used. The hell? It's locked. There doesn't seem to be a way around this one. See those gaffos? They help auditorium workers get around more easily. Perhaps they can do the same for us. It's not a bad idea. Okay, let's see if your grappling hook can help us out here. Yeah. But you did not develop enough bond with them. Yeah, exactly. And that'd be that'd be a completely reasonable thing. Like having a good ending. A bad and kind of like how uh, Final Fantasy does it, and so based on those decisions, I mean Mass Effect did something similar. If you didn't max out your uh, loyalty with your teammates, um, Mass Effect Two, there were some pretty big ramifications for uh, not doing that. But the game literally forces you to, though. so it's a little different with Persona. Um, you have that option. I'll take it. Next target. Good work, everyone. Okay. I have something. I'll reveal your true form. Feel the rush. Okay, let's move on. Okay. Focus. As our enemies really are this week. That shadow hasn't seen. I'll reveal your true form. Yeah, that's, that's never going to get old. <laughs> Literally nuking personas with cosmic radiation. Yeah, that, that's not, that's not going to get old. I'm never going to get tired of doing Can you that. Tell if I've grown stronger? You definitely have. Alright, so this is it. We got it. We have to do it. We have to do the fight. Alright. 
So we know the strat. We're gonna do side books on side damage and confusing it. And then I'm gonna be just rocking half near of my own. Alright. See if I've got the thing. Calm down. buff that I can give you... No. So, we're just gonna save up for... I'm curious. Curious what quality items this guy's gonna give us. Oh, some rare loot. Ooh, rare loot, rare loot. Alright, alright. Alright, cool. Good work, everyone. Good Went with the uh the Noak strat that worked like a charm. <laughs> so thanks, Noak. Okay. Luckily I had um a couple of those items there. I didn't even think about using the freaking, um, the, uh, status files. Ooh, new sword. Um, thank you very much. Alright, new sword for Sumiri. I should call her her code name. No. Wait, why is this lighting up? Oh. Thought I had been through all the scaffolding. Show me your true form. Let's go. All right, so let's do it. This is too fun. <laughs> that so strong. Yeah, he already has that, but I guess I could pass that straight along. But then I would have to be getting rid of a skill that I really want, so eh, I'll drop it. And let's go. I've already done the fusion anyway. All right. Let's see if we can ambush this guy. I'll reveal your true form. Ooh, a rare one. It's time. You're mine. Nope. Not gonna do it. Kasumi is... <laughs> Keep calling her Kasumi. Samiri, alright? Samiri is running low on the juice, alright? So, we need to give her... Patch.
Yeah, we're gonna make good with this treasure. Or at least that's what I like to tell myself. Is this the guy? What would you like to do? Let's do it. <laughs> Wait, hold up. He may be communicating with another shadow. Might be able to intercept some useful info. You should head back to your post. They're supposed to be in the observation room. Let's stick with the plan. Don't go acting on your own. I'm only trying to eliminate any potential risk for our master. But I guess I shouldn't keep my ID on me out here. Fine, I'll return to my post. Huh? What? Shadow's about to head out. Ambush him, quick, go, go. Aha! What? The Phantom Thieves? I must have been followed. Damn it, I told you. Now we have to eliminate them for our master. We got the ID, now we just have to. Feels like we're one step closer to the treasure. Might as well try the ID out on that door now. <laughs> Too easy. We did it! <laughs> Oracle Senpai. <laughs> I like the sound of that. From here on out, we're off the map. Keep your guard up, everyone. this it's kind of storage area uh, we go through the hassle of getting IDs and this is where we wind up don't be too disheartened just yet considering the size of the room there are likely multiple exits we can make our way through here I believe we'll be much closer to the palace's central area so basically we just got to keep charging yeah. up well then let's hurry and get the hell out of here being psyched is fine at all but we don't have the best visibility here stay on guard all right all right yeah no it's completely blacked out but I need to do the intelligent thing and actually save my game. Because there's no telling what we're going to fight. You wipe once, you don't want to wipe twice. Alright, let's see here. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love this outfit on everyone. It's such a cool design. All right. Feel your true form. What's that the advantage? Don't let them. Please don't resist. So very generous. Thank you. it. 
All right, so we're just gonna have to. Oh, there it is. There's a way up. Six actually. All right. Yeah. Leave the noobs and let's go. That skill is this crazy is good. But now it makes sense, like why I wasn't seeing like my teammates developing the severe skills, even though they're like level eighty, because I haven't been focusing on social links. So, yeah. But I've got time to fix it. I gotta, I gotta hang with my friends. Just take that more seriously. All right, I'm gonna take a quick break because um, I literally did not have breakfast. I so just like popped on, started streaming. So I'll be back in like five minutes. <laughs>
All right, and we're back. Thank you for allowing me to nourish myself. I just jumped the gun and hopped right into streaming and didn't take care of any of my dietary needs. <laughs> but, you know, nothing like a little cereal. Adult cereal, of course. Cheerios. Chocolate and peanut butter. He's too good at that. All right. Huh? I can feel it. Done already? How disappointing. All right. I want the grappling hook ambush. I'll reveal your truth. Because that's how we get our debuffs for the enemy. All right. Another fafnir. How dare you nourish yourself, streamer John. Forgive me. Forgive me. <laughs> I love that emo. I love that emo. ISM Baka. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, hopefully um, I can get affiliate soon and have emotes on this channel. Upload some of the ones from... Um, from a golf squad. Yeah, we're literally like reflecting each other. <laughs> I'm pretty close though, I'm pretty close. So, you know, with you guys um, watching my streams, um, I just have to stream on more days, that's literally it. And I'll have met all the requirements. back double for what he did. Ooh, not bad, Noir. Move and you die. <laughs> Move and you die. Do it. <laughs> Air strike. I tried it, you know, and immediately, immediately we were punished. Like, not even, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, immediately we were punished. I'll reveal your true form. I am Depth Try. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. I hope your Sunday's going well. I'm just chilling, playing some uh, some Persona, and um, I just had some cereal, and I'm in good spirits. Who eats cereal at 3:02 p.m.? People who sleep in. That's who.
Not sure if I have him as a part of the collection, so figure I'd bring him. Oh wait, no, I already have. I already have. Um, I know I don't have a curriculum, so I have to release him. Joker. All right. If I didn't grow up with Pokemon, I wouldn't be so obsessed with, like, capturing every persona that I come across. But I just have to do it. And I hope you don't judge me for it. Hey, what am I doing? I mean, sure, we could sneak around him, but I need cash. <laughs> You gotta like buy stuff. Did some big damage there, bud. You lie, me suppose. Not bad. Why? Let's catch your breath. Okay, let's move on. Power courses through me. Okay. Every time I level up, my uh, pocketbook is a little happier. Alright. We're gonna... You know what? Actually, we're not gonna have we're gonna do anything. We have all of these little items. You can literally just use them. And then we just save the group hill stuff. But that definitely looks like a way out. Um, but let's keep exploring before we go through that door. Hey, that's a treasure chest. It's fun time. Yes, it is. Dizzy Vile S. Yes, yes. Give me all the dizzy. You didn't see anything. I'll reveal your true form. That one's too weird. I don't know what it's gonna do. Every blast, all foes. Sometimes you just wanna explode. I can still feel the rush. Good work, everyone. Nice. Hey, look. Looks like he goes over there. Is that the exit? Shall we go? 
Seems like it. Show me your true form. All aces, all aces. They were too weak to be a threat. All right, so you actually do have to go up. This reminds me of that warehouse in Cyberpunk. Arasaka warehouse. Because it had a lot of verticality to it as well. It has yet to know. Show me your true form. What about the advantage? Don't rush this. Twenty six thousand, I will take it. All right. I'm really glad this uh, tower is like a full palace because, um, you know, playing through it earlier, I'm thinking, like, you know, is this it? Like, <laughs> am I just gonna do some, some stuff until we come back in February? But no, it's it's a uh, normal. It's a normal tower. Is there a safe room nearby? Did it help if we can find one? Your safe room senses were tingling. So we can go ahead and do our little registration. for you the compendium yes registering a persona would you like to register it okay please be aware that there is an alarm in effect be prepared for variations be cautious with your selections are you sure you want one this week no I do not. Are you sure you want one this week? I don't want that one either. Okay. <laughs> Let's not do that. Let's do this instead. Let us aim for greater heights. 
Let us aim for the top with accessories as well. That is such a pretty name though. Lavenza? Yeah, I like that. If I had a daughter, that name would be on my short list. I really like it. This is a stronger version because of the alarm. Alright, let's do it. And we can bring Futsunushi back. I think. Well, I'm bringing him back anyway, but I just realized, like, um, this might not work. Shit. At least we get to see this cutscene. I don't know what it looks like. <laughs> she still gets shocked. Uh, that's hilarious. <laughs> Well, at least we got some bath salts and smokes Lavenza. Alright. Welcome to the Velvet Room. The Compendium, yes? You wish to browse the entries? like to override it you wish to summon this persona you may take it with you then all right and let me take a look here you would like to override it You wish to summon this persona? You may take it with you then. May luck be on your side. Indeed. Let's do it. All right, save the game, save the game. Get back to the monitoring prep room. We've arrived. And now let's continue our exploration. Don't know why I struggled to say that. But. Okay. Yeah, I think we came back from that one. Yep. Scrap. Hey. Hold on. Look over there. Security's even tighter here. Apparently, they appear quite formidable. 
That means this place must be important. Let's take them out whenever we're ready. Alright. Smart Money says that I should probably go ahead and heal now. <laughs> Phantom Wafers. Yeah, she didn't even need the full heal. Indeed. So you dare to defy his excellency. Let us pass. You shall not interfere with our master's work. Yeah, he's resistant to that, so we're not going to do that. Actually, I'm not going to do that. Will be 
All right, I wasn't slogged in the mud, but we got it. We got 25 large off that too. Hmm. I believe that takes care of that. So, where are we now? This room seems very different to the rest of the palace. It was more heavily guarded as well. Could this be some sort of surveillance room? Monitors are displaying various rooms within the palace. Huh? Wait, we were being watched this whole time? I don't know about that. I see. Yep, I knew it. This room's more of a mainframe than a monitoring system. All sorts of information being collected here from across the palace and getting converted into raw data. Data collection, but what for? Wait. You know, this room ain't got any sort of way forward. Think we're gonna find another path somewhere else? Actually, it looks like there's a path beyond those cables. We're sure not using it as is, though. <laughs> Wait, all those video cameras everywhere recording this whole time? Literally my thought. Literally my thought to myself when I read that line. I'm like, on what 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 why are you shocked? Like did you not see the security cameras everywhere? Did you not see the fact that like the little mini boss battle we had earlier they were tracking us? <laughs> Is that mementos? Yep, yep. I've tracked the location all the data's being sent to. Looks like it's going into mementos. We might be able to make some headway if we investigate this location. 
That reminds me, Lavenza did tell us Dr. Maruki is utilizing mementos to distort all of reality. Even still, are those really data cables? Let's go check mementos. Agreed. Sticking around here isn't going to help us any. Alright, let's get out of here for now. See if a memento strip does us any good. Dickens. Hmm. You know I made the right choice with Sumire, Sumire. Had an eye for talent. Yep. It worked today. But you got school tomorrow. You no know, stay up too late and end up dozing off. So the reason why I keep That's saying right, Sumire like. as Sumire is because her name looks like Vermeer, which is a planet from Mass Effect. And that's literally why I keep doing it. I'd like to thank everyone for letting me join the team. I'm glad to be here. I'll do my best to pull my weight. We're happy to have you. Yeah, welcome. Okay, but <laughs> but can you loosen up a little, okay? Don't worry about being so formal. I'm sorry, I'll try to address that in the future. Still sounds pretty dang stiff to me. A thousand pardons. Now she sounds like some kind of samurai. Okay, now you guys are roasted. Hey, either way, we got another teammate now. That's awesome. Indeed. We're glad to have you as well, Yoshizawa-san. Well, as long as we're dropping the formalities, you don't have to bother with the honorifics. If it's okay, I'd like everyone to just call me Sumiri. If you're sure, in that case, once again, welcome to the team, Sumiri. Thank you. Oh, and about tomorrow, are we all going to that Mementos place? That's an option. But we still have plenty of time. We don't need to attempt an infiltration if we're not wholly prepared. Yeah, that's our leader's call. Be counting on you more than ever, 8-bit. I hear you. Hmm. We've got more firepower now, but our target this time is much more powerful than any we, we faced so far. We should probably get ourselves ready as possible. Yes, we should. Um, so we need to talk. We need to talk um, about boosting uh, social stats. <laughs> Morning. Because. You know, if I can get my teammates just that much stronger, that will be very beneficial. About the fan side request, if I find any this year, I'll be sure to pass the info on to you. Sounds good. <laughs> there aren't many posts now, but it looks like there are still plenty of people in trouble. We're all counting on you, fan of these. Dispense justice. Mm. There are still people in trouble out there, huh? You mean there are still some targets left in mementos. Whether they are there or not, we better be prepared for anything. Who knows what might happen? Does the school's atmosphere seem different to anyone else? Atmosphere of being? The general mood, I suppose. Everyone seems so happy. Some of them even seem like entirely new people, you know. I've been seeing it too. You think this is Dr. Maruki's influence? If their stories and circumstances seem radically different from before, it's a safe bet. Shit, this is also crazy. Hey Bill, let us know if you want to go to Mementos. I can be at the hideout at any time. Hideout? What's up? Where are you all gathering? Take a guess. Um, maybe a really seedy looking bar? Oof, so close. Yeah, that ain't close at all. Anyway, come to LeBlanc here for school, yeah? We always gather up there. Okay, but are we allowed to gather there? It's a cafe. Nah, it's fine. Nobody ever goes there anyway. And it's settled. We'll all meet up at LeBlanc. Okay, I'll see you all there. Hey. Make sure you're all stacked up on important supplies so you don't want to run out of something you need it most. Yeah, exactly. I gotta do a lot of um, shopping. <clears throat> All right, the mission officially starts. Hello, senpai. Are you free today? If you don't already have plans, maybe we can meet up. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll meet with Kasumi. Let's 
Sumire. I'll just add this. This is gonna take some getting used to. <laughs> Everyone in the world seems so happy, but it isn't right. Um, we should go to the palace today. We need to stop Dr. Maruki. Let's head to the metaverse. I have a <laughs> let's hang out. What? Hang out, but we have to do something before it's too late. Don't overthink it. I see. You're right. Maybe I'm getting a little overwhelmed. I can't do my best if I'm too stuck in my own head. Thank you for your concern, Senpai. Let's use this day to relax. Senpai, um, I... I want to talk to you about something. Do you have time? Hey, Can thank I you. Talk to you? I am so, so sorry. Ah. Seeing me trying to act like a Sumi must have been so painful and awkward for everyone. Everyone must have noticed that I was acting strangely. They were probably being nice to me, knowing I had just lost my sister. And even then, I had no idea I was even supposed to be sad. I didn't remember that my sister was gone. But my coach told me to think, to think about who I really am. I thought it was just figurative, something about my slump. I was just living my life like, like I didn't even care that she was gone. I can't take this shame. At least you realize it now. I'm sorry. Yes, I have to reflect on everything. I've done wrong. Ever since we were kids, Kasumi was always the one who decided what I did, what I chose, where I went. I couldn't do anything without her. I suppose it's clear why my grades weren't going up much. I was never on Kasumi's level to begin with. I was so pretentious, so wrapped up in my own stupid little problems. I was too self-absorbed to do anything. What do you do now? Can I talk to you? I'm starting to remember things from our past now, but it's hard. I'm trying. There's a lot. It covers everything. Starting from when Kasumi and I first got into gymnastics up until just recently. I want to talk about how it used to be for Kasumi and me. Would you listen? Kasumi started gymnastics really early, and I was even younger, so I copied her in almost everything. I went to class, too. I was too little to really understand the sport or the rules. But everyone praised me when I did well. The coach would get me little rewards like ice cream cones. We did our best trying to learn the moves and routines since I kept getting us ice cream. <laughs> Easy. All for ice cream, huh? Yes. I guess so, but it clearly worked, right? We worked hard though, we earned that ice cream, we would talk and laugh, those days were fun. And one day, around when we started going to junior meets, Kasumi asked me, if we can be number one in the world, does that mean we get all the ice cream we could eat? All with a straight face, of course, you can be really funny sometimes. <laughs> so obviously I told her, Kasumi, you're a super genius. <laughs> that is genius. She really was a genius though. Everything came so easily to her. Every day, she only got better. You remember what my coach said, Senpai? That my, well, Kasumi's greatest weapon was her boldness? Kasumi was always so bold. She was like a beacon of confidence. So... And one day, I never realized, and one day I realized I'd never catch up. Didn't matter how hard I tried, I'd have cons consolation prizes for the rest of my life. Kasumi was always the one up on the podium. But even when she won her ice cream, she never ate it without me. I always told her not to worry about me, but she still said we could wait until we could enjoy it together. She really believed in me. She said we'd be the best in the world someday. She had her own practices to do, but she was always so busy helping me, she spent hours trying to help me. Now she cared about you. She was so kind and strong. She was the perfect older sister. I... Kasumi's kindness was so, so... Infuriating. I can't imagine. She was always the one on the podium surrounded by flashing cameras. All I could do was watch from the shadows. I'm not Kasumi, and no matter what I'll do, I'll never be like her. If she'd just given up on me, it wouldn't have hurt so much. 
At least then people would stop trying to compare us. What about Kasumi's feelings? I'm sorry. You're right. I suppose I was just selfish in the end. The thought kept coming back every day my mind went back to it. Everyone would be better off if I didn't exist. Either that, or I should just be Kasumi. She's the one people really want. Samira is the one who's useless, pointless. Who would care if she died? But my sister died instead. Why does she have to protect an idiot like me? I... I watched her. You have to accept it. Yes, I'm done running away. Senpai. I can't stop here. Now I want to keep doing gymnastics as Sumire. I, I want to hit those heights Kasumi was aiming for. Otherwise, I'd never be able to face her. Please, listen to me. Will you keep going out with me now that I'm Sumire? I want you to hold me to this, to make sure I don't run away from who I am again. If it's part of the deal, I can manage that. I will. Thank you very much. <laughs> you must think I'm pretty lame. But, I guess that's Sumire. That's who I am. And I have to be stronger, both in my heart and with my gymnastic skills. Maybe some other time. But for now, I'm Sumire Yoshizawa, and it's nice to meet you again. Alright, rank up, boys, girls, and envies. Fitness talk. If negotiation for any shadow fails, try again. All right. Oh, my controller needs to juice. Yeah, I didn't uh, charge it since yesterday. I try to charge it only as needed, i.e. when it tells me it needs to be charged. Yeah, I feel so much better with all that off my chest, Senpai. I think this really helped me. Now I can focus on turning over a new leaf and doing my best. Shall we go? Let's go get some practice in until I have to go to club. We'll be training even harder than before, so I'll be extra strict from now on. All right. Um, hello. I'd like to thank you for what happened earlier today. And I'm sorry you had to see such a pathetic side of me. As soon as I acknowledged myself as Sumire, my gymnastics training started to fall apart too. This is the real me, I guess. So what if it is? Huh? I... well... <laughs> you know, you're right. So what if this is who I am? I just made up my mind to keep moving forward even without Kasumi. I can't just run and hide now. I'll think about where Kasumi got her strength from and what I can do as Samiri. I'll calm down and think all of this through. Thank you for listening to all of that. Okay, I'll talk to you again soon. Alright, one step closer. Yeah. Oh, you're home. Well, it's getting colder. Make sure to keep warm when you sleep. Yeah, that's for sure. In the middle of winter. There's a streak of weird posts on the fan site. My mom is acting weird. I'm so lonely and hungry. Can she not see me? She does not answer me. The house is so cluttered. It's such a mess now. Worth looking into. I should say that, so I grabbed some extra info in advance. It says the smartphone's registered owner is Kuniko Kagami. It's gotta be making the post using her mom's phone. I already checked the name from the meta nav and there's a hit. It can safe to assume that the mom is neglecting her kid. Good work. <laughs> nah, I didn't do much. Except, you know, everything. I think a kid should never have to feel like she doesn't matter to her mom. I want to bring her back to her senses. Let's discuss this more at the hideout, okay? Well, if we already got a hit of momentum, we can't just ignore it. From the sound of these posts, the victim here is just a little girl. There's still lots of people out there who need our help. Let's see what we can do for them. Hey, hey. Yeah, we do have some uh, sooty armor. Oh, 
Okay. Actually, why would I do that? It's usually at the end of the night, anyway. This is all for crafting, transmutation. Kami did hit me up, but I use it for laundry. Idiot. Um, that's cool though. Let me see. Look at my persona: Hermit, Justice, Emperor, Star, Death, Magician, Counselor. Yeah, I don't have. Um, I don't have a lot of uh, duplicates as far as Arcana is concerned, so I should be pretty good with uh, being able to connect with everyone. Okay, you don't have the juice? Damn, alright. Oh. <laughs> that Dr. Salt. Dr. Salt. Second semester exams are coming up. Did you make sure to study this time? Heck no. Not enough time in my party schedule for studying. You don't get to be college students forever. We can't waste our chance to have some fun. You won't be able to remain a college student if you don't study. Cost benefit analysis, my friend. What do you think about the current economy? Business seems to be booming for everyone. A little unsettled by it. it. Wasn't the kind of response I was expecting. Everyone seems to be in high spirits though. When all people conform and feel the same emotion, that's when things are the most dangerous. Damn, dude spitting facts. I'm just running into this ball for no reason. This New Year's party was a fancy one. It reminded me of the bubble economy back when I first joined the company. As in, we're living in a bubble right now? In other words, it's going to burst soon. It didn't say anything about it bursting. The economy is ultimately the result of people's wishes. I'm sure the bubble will continue as long as people want it to. Yeah, hopefully your financial sector doesn't pop it. Hmm? Sir, I have an update for you. I'm actually living in Japan with my mother now. My Japanese has really improved, hasn't it? Now I won't have any trouble working here. I'm so happy that I get to work here in Japan. I'll continue working hard so I can take care of my mom. What? Since when? I had no idea. And yeah, your Japanese is suddenly impeccable. You sound like a completely different person. Really? I mean, it's good that my Japanese improved so much, right? I guess that's true. So that must have been his wish. Which is a reasonable wish to have. Sheesh. 
New Year's crowd usually isn't this damn peppy. Just looking at him is driving me nuts. At least you're still as laid back as ever. So you need something in there? Yo. Okay. We should be grateful. All right. Okay. Sounds good. Huh? You gonna be like it? Even though it gets dry in the winter, be careful. Guns are prone to misfire if it gets too humid. That's what you're choosing? Good. <laughs> Yellow girl. Alright, which one? Hmm, that one? Don't break it, okay? The air's dry, so be careful when you're handling gunpowder. That's what you're choosing? Sure thing. Choosing, don't break it, okay? Uh, come again. All right. So we bumped her defense up. Jeweler. What? You interested in my art? Got a kit like you could possibly understand. Hmm? You look like you know what's up, unlike all those ponies. I think you deserve to buy my wares, my art. Look at that charm, you can buy whatever what you, you want. want. Oh nice, you just get high counter. Thanks, come again. Look closely, you can see him shivering. Guess fashion is more important than warm. Drip over practicality, Morgana. That, like, that's the rules. What do you want to do? Take your time. What do you want to do? <laughs> Take your time.
What would you like? So we hit out all the drugs. Did all, all the drugs. Um, all right, let's see. Ayama, Tanjay, Yuku. Put up the red light district and see if there if there's more stuff to buy. Are you still harassing people? Get a real job. I'm sure your parents would agree with me. You're right, my old man was an upstanding guy that never gambled. The way I'm living now, I couldn't look him in the eye. I want to change your heart, officer. What's important is that you believe in yourself. You can do it. I have faith in you. What is this? Hi. Okay, just gift stuff. Thank you. Welcome. Okay, I already have one, one of that. One of everything now. Alright. We're done here. Welcome, here are the latest in consumer electronics. I already gave away our Roomba. I'll buy another one. game shop what's happening to this country I can feel nothing but fear about the future feels like I've been getting a lot of a lot of passengers look depressed have you heard any interesting news lately nothing really noteworthy probably because there was so much going on last year and again no news is good news right like when it's this peaceful yeah yeah I felt I felt that all right, so. Oh yeah, Kichi Joji. Take your time. Chunky Katsu. That hurts. Spicy meat bun that warms you to your core. Hey, 
perfectly preserved. Hmm. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. <laughs> I see. Omnifizz, all your stats will improve. This wonderful drink will help stimulate your stamina and soul. I think it's coming in on 18. What do you want to do? Hey! Oh! Yeah, let's bring Yusuke over. See how that pans out. Hey, thanks for coming in. Ever charges three thousand yen. Okay, I'll take that. You can sit down anywhere that's open. That's it. Try not to be disruptive, all right? Not bad. Possible. I like to draw at this very location. I bet I could create an amazing piece. This drink. Delicious. The portions are mixed perfectly. Sorry. Starving. Sorry for bringing that up out of nowhere, but truly I am famished. Perhaps I will fill myself once again by painting pictures of food. <laughs> Go ahead and laugh. Altering the position of the dish and making it a meal in the midst of being eaten has a surprising amount of depth to it. I enjoyed that. So we ended up talking for quite some time. Perhaps it's uh, due to the atmosphere in this place. Conversing with a friend and reflecting upon myself, I don't dislike this feeling. All right. Nice. All right. Thank you. Apologies for taking up a lot of time, but I appreciate you bringing me here. It's like it's time to head home. Hmm, that was an evening well spent. See you later. All right, see you later. Thanks, Kawakami, you're the best. You are the best. <sighs> How did as always. Now for today's train news. Today's headlines are, Japan first in the list of most prosperous countries. Others are praising it as a perfect model of a developed country. First economic boom in the 21st century, several businesses are reporting massive increases in earnings. The new cabinet shows strong approval ratings. Has our antiquated political system been changed for the better? I mean, Maruki's, uh, Maruki's dream world is definitely appealing, that's for sure. Like, literally all the problems that society has being you know. fixed. I was cleaning my room the other day and found a collection of stories that I bought when I was a student. You've all heard of the restaurant of many orders by Kenji Miyazawa, right? It was aimed at children, but even when you read it now, it really pulls you in. Speaking of, one of Kenji's Miyazawa's strengths is his, is his sense of naming fictional lands in his stories. Ayatov is the most famous among them. This place is loosely named after the author's hometown. Okay now, I have a disco. Answer this question. Where do you think the fictional land of Ayatov is modeled after? Okinawa, Iwate, New York. Tokyo. I have no idea. Hey, water. All right. This is it. Way to go. Ayatov's Kenji Miyazawa's fantasy world is Utopia. A utopia is an ideal world, separate from our own world. Oh, Did somebody say Booba? <laughs> What's up, Rich? How you doing, dude? <laughs> A Kao Kami is always. Uh, Booba always applies to her. <laughs> How you been, man? How you been? Nice going. I guess I should ask you, what should what should I eat today? Should I go should I go get Taco Bell, McDonald's, Wendy's? 
I saw a Persona 5 choose your own adventure video with two girls cosplaying. What? That's insane. One was Kawakami, the other was a Shogi girl. Oh man, you gotta link me this. You gotta link me this. I need, I need it. Like, drop it, drop it in the Discord, dude. I gotta, I gotta see this. I gotta see this. And it's literally a choose your own adventure. <laughs> the creativity of the internet never fails to impress. You'd have to pay $30, lol. What? Okay, so what kind of choose your adventure is this? It's an expensive vid from MV. Oh, okay, okay. Got you. <laughs> All the booze and meat you could want. Oh, but then I'd be fat and perpetually hungover. You know what? Maybe things aren't so bad as they are. Yeah, she's right though. I'd be thick. I mean, I'm already pretty thick as is, but like if I could have like all the meat buns and beer I could want. Aw oh, man, I'd be huge. Persona 5 to Oh my god! <laughs> Persona 5 choose your lesbians. Holy shit, that's wild, dude. That's wild. The internet, um, the internet was a mistake, man. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and say it was a mistake. <laughs> That's too funny. That's too funny. I mean, I mean, a video or um, a series that wild has got to be like, you, you got to put that behind a paywall. You know, you, you have to. <laughs> That's crazy. I said on Discord, I lol that the thumbnail that actually popped up. Okay, yeah. After stream, I'm definitely gonna check that out. That is, that's hilarious. That's that's fucking hilarious. <laughs> About the actualization, did something happen? One of my fellow artists no longer works in the medium. You mean they gave up painting? To be precise, their entire history and existence as a painter are no more. For real? Actualization is sure some spooky stuff. But that doesn't mean Maruki just killed their dream. No, in this reality, they've already, they've apparently always been in archery. They're quite skilled as well, from what I gather. Seriously? But why archery? I don't know the exact reasoning, but it was most likely Maruki's judgment call. He pried into your associate's cognition and concluded archery to be the best fit for them. But that's what Dr. Maruki considered salvation. He probably concluded the arts were just generating suffering for them. I suppose he thought this would be a superior path. Now that you mentioned it, it did say before they were stuck in a terrible slump. But doesn't that all, doesn't that mean all of the effort up until now is just wasted? Protecting people from their pain must matter more than their lost efforts. From his point of view, of course. The real utopia. Maybe to them, but not to me. I could never live with myself like that. <sighs> Throwing away your past to live in blissful ignorance? Yeah, I could never live like that either. I may or may not have paid for this vid. <laughs> oh man. And you know what? And you know what? Like, assuming, assuming that you uh, clicked uh, buy by accident, um, I want to review. Like, like, the Disney does this. <laughs> Needs to do a special episode on a non-Disney film. I want to hear your take on it. I am a patron of the arts. That you are. That you are. You you are definitely a patron of the arts. Um, you know, I I I am a um a cultured man myself, and I am very interested to know what the uh, details of this particular artwork uh, is or are. <laughs> the manager. It's always been reliable. He's so considerate of his subordinates, too. You're gonna forgive your boyfriend? What if he starts hurting you again? What are you talking about? He's never done that. We're totally happy together. Retconned. Yeah, Dr. Miruki literally retconned everything. I should write something. Mm -hmm. This is a really, uh, really nice song. I like it. I hope I can do it. Hey. Hey. What do you think about training for a bit? We're gonna get rested if we don't keep ourselves active. 
Hold on. Oh, come on. I'm so done. Chariot. Do I have no persona that's in the chariot? No, I don't. But I have two justice personas. So... I'm gonna go to the Velvet Room. I need a Chariot Persona. Welcome to the Velvet Room. The Compendium, yes? What will you be registered? Would you like to register this to the Compendium? Awaken your new self. You wish to strengthen it? Yeah, so why don't we... Strengthen Dominion with Metatron, and then I will need to resub it. It seems it would gain much power. Sacrifice has given your mask a most potent new glow. Help to witness the heights of your power. Oh, and regarding food for you, I don't know. It's personally, I'm Taco Bell it out. Oh, really? So, what have you been eating? I had dicks today. <laughs> Gachi Hyper. Deluxe fries, chocolate shake. Ooh. Grabbed you some dicks, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's definitely tough. Cause like alternatively I can just like just eat at home and just eat more of what I had yesterday. Like I've got some old pasta that I need to eat, but I've been eating salads and chicken. And then Friday I went to um well not went to I ordered out from a local restaurant. Um that's pretty famous for making like all kinds of crazy shit, so um and the freaking French onion soup. Oh, that was so good. Did you change your mind? The compendium, yes. The flavors were there. You wish to browse the entries? Yeah, I could probably just pick like. You would like to overwrite it? You wish to summon this persona? You may take it with you then. You can't just say famous for making all kinds of crazy shit and not elaborate elaborate on what crazy shit means. <laughs> that, that is true. Okay, so basically, it's like a uh, they're they're American cuisine, um, and what they do is they'll they'll do like 
really crazy things like for example um, the brownie that I ordered most restaurants will give you a pretty sizable brownie um, and then that's it all right it's just a brownie but these guys put icing on their brownies like like cake icing and then sprinkles on top of that and then the actual brownie has chocolate chips baked in like hard chocolate chips baked in at the bottom um it's like you know like just kind of a cut above what you get normally so i, I meant crazy in the best way possible oh i think wendy's app on sundays has free 10 piece nuggets Ooh, okay well if there's free 10 piece nuggies from wendy's i might have to go there then <laughs> That's uh that's what it sounded like to me. I think that's what you're telling me to do. Oh man, that brownie sounds great. Most places would just do a standard brownie, put ice cream on and call it a day. Yeah, exactly. Like 99% of the restaurants I've been to do that. And this place is like, no, we're actually going to do um, our own take on what a brownie is. Yeah, I checked the office section on your app. True, true. You gotta see who has the, uh, the best offers. I'm not too far away from a uh, Wendy's, and I need to crank my car up anyway. It's been it's been a couple of days, and that's not good for the battery. It's not good for the battery at all. Awaken your new self. But yeah, they um, I haven't tried their French fries yet, but they'll do things like. Macaroni and cheeseburgers. Um, um, there's this one burger that has like I don't know deep fried cheese on it. Like they literally just do creative um, cuisine. It's really interesting stuff. Some of it I can't in good conscience eat without like thinking I'm gonna die because I'm lactose intolerant. But Which persona are definitely you worth. For? What's the place called? It's called Dats, D-A-T-Z. Um, I think they have a couple of locations across the U.S. Um, I think they're like a chain, but they're small because they're kind of like mom and pop-ish. It seems to hold a vast amount of power. But you might have uh, one there. Oh, you have! Holy shit! Nice! Nice! Okay, so you know what I'm talking about then. Oh, that's cool, dude. <laughs> It had a menu that had Casca's face on it. <laughs> That's amazing, man. That's amazing. And it does sound like a place. It does sound like a place that um, would perfectly encapsulate Casca. Yeah, no, that, that is awesome. Um, is it is it where you are currently, or uh, did you find it on the uh, the East Coast? Choose which skill to inherit. Increases damage from attacks that targets weakness of foes. Increases um, SP Castle all wooden skills, strength and magic skills. Damage from attacks that targets foes, weakness by 50%. Mm. Yeah, we'll keep that behind his wings. Actually, maybe I don't need to do that. Maybe I need to pick some of some skills. I went when I was at USM. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Some video game club folks went. I had like chicken and waffles. I had jalapeno maple syrup. Yeah, exactly. Like, that's the kind of shit I'm talking about. Like you wouldn't think. It seems to hold a vast uh, Jalapeno anything would work, <laughs> but yet you know, it just does. It just does. Like it's amazing. That place is amazing, and um. 
I'm definitely planning on ordering some more food from there. It's just expensive, so I'm not gonna like eat there like every day, you know. Because um, just this last order cost me like 35, close to 40, 35 to 40 bucks. But I mean, I had a lot of food. I had soup, um, brownie, a really good burger, um, and uh, really well seasoned. Like it, it's priced competitively to like a lot of other restaurant offerings, but um, it, the flavors are there, you know. Like there's a sports bar I go to, and their burgers are pretty, like mid. They could be so much better. They just don't season the the beef. Like the toppings are good, but the the beef itself is kind of bland. You can taste it. It's like, what's going on? There's no seasoning in this beef. <laughs> no marinade, nothing. And it hurts. It hurts the burger. It seems to hold a vast amount of power. Choose which skill to inherit. I need to look at something real quick. Hold on. Yeah. Alright. So it wouldn't make Choose a difference. Which skill to inherit. On his wings. Drives. Salvation. Actually curious about their chicken and waffles and now that you mention it. It's like I had some uh some chips. It was like um like a kind of barbecue barbecue chips. Yeah the flavors were interesting. So this is Vishnu. Continuing the universe, crushing evil, I'm the manifestation of thine heart, thine invincible mask. Okay, I gotta go, but later I'll try to find a pick of Costco on the menu. Please do. Thank you for stopping by and hanging out. I appreciate talking to you as always. Yeah, I'm probably gonna be ending soon myself. Uh, we, we've crossed over the, the three hour mark. But yeah, I'll see you, dude. Thanks again. Yeah, we, we want that Reflect Fire attack. We do want it. Um, Source 20 SPF or baton cost. Increases SP cost of skills by half. Revives one ally. Greatly decreases accuracy for one foe. Concentrate. I do want to give him as much damage as possible though. So as much as I want. He's got to keep these two skills, so that's literally why I had those two Persona that I just um, sacrificed. So... But Ollie Dance is really useful as well. So I'll drop Soul Chain. That wasn't an easy decision to make. It seems to hold a vast amount of power. Jeez, this is the Persona that um, we originally fought. That's pretty... Uh, Pretty sweet, so we can get him too. Pastor. So there's two ways to get Haster. We can do Siegfried and Zalgungan. So let's look up 
Let's look up Hester real quick. See if he is... What he does. So... Let's see... Yep, he's in third semester. Alpha Savory, strengthens on SP recovery by 50%, Vacuum Wave, so he's got Wind, Nocturnal Flash, Support, Almighty, Passive, Almighty. All right, so. Got a lot of Almighty skills. So I think the better fusion. It seems to hold a vast amount of power. It's gonna be. He's got some wind too. I guess it doesn't really matter because I'm looking at his skill tree right now, and it's like, because he gets vacuum wave. Vishnu already has vacuum wave. And he can repel wind. So I guess the thing is, like, what traits do I want to go in? Like these. He does get Wind Amp. So he's similar to Vishnu in a lot of ways. So I think summoning or, or fusing Vishnu to get him would be kind of a waste. Because he's going to get a lot of Vishnu skills already. So yeah, we'll do, we'll do this fusion. Choose which skill to inherit. Alright, so his skill is Mouth of Savoring. Alright, Nullify Curse, Victory Cry. App Pupil. Rise of full HP and KO. Strong against fire. So we'll give him that. On the phone. What's up, Dream? Just doing some uh, last minute fusions. <laughs> Darkness is getting in there. These are mass conquer world. Um, before I wrap up here. Strength is one skills. Yeah, that's the one we want. Bizzle Eye. Yeah, we can keep that. Increases chance of crit. Blazing Hell. Debilitate. Nocturnal Flash. Yeah, we'll swap that out. Spirit Drain. Yeah. So, Spirit Drain, we really want. We really want that skill. Because you can increase the amount of SP he gets by 50%. Since he doesn't have any physical attacks, I'll drop out the pupil. And then there's repel wind. All right. Which persona do you wish to fuse this? Did you change your mind? Compendium, yes? What will you be registered? Would you like to register this to the Compendium? May luck be on your side. Alright, so I gotta check my stock. 
Justice, Hermit, Emperor, Star, Death, Magician, Magician. So I have two Magicians. I have Certs. I have Futanishi. Chariot, Fool, Star. So let's go ahead. Damage skill, spirit drain, debuffs. Alright, now we gotta do the same for Vishnu. Cool. Alright. And then we just have that um, to boost our standing more easily with uh, Ryuji. So let's look at Welcome to the Velvet Room. Awaken your new self. Convert a persona. It seems it would become a skill card. So now that we do that, we have room for three. Performing a fuse to whom will you give birth? What if I can get Okanushi? Which persona are you looking for? Actually, Which I persona are you looking for? Do you truly need this? to inherit. I am Okanushi, my sword, my bow, these tools which grant which form is fine land shall not grant your power as a mass. to inherit.
I am Yoshitsune. I see you know my genius feats. Rejoice, for I shall graciously become your mask. Change your mind. The compendium, yes? What will you be registered? Would you like to register this to the compendium? May luck be on your side. So, got room for five. I got star, justice, hermit, star. So, I have two stars. But I want to keep Oster to um, test him out. Buffnir, Lucifer, Alice, Vishnu. Alright. Welcome to the Velvet Room. The compendium, yes? You wish to browse the entries? would like to overwrite it. You wish to summon this persona? Actually, we'll hold off on that. So, who's Soundophon? It's, uh, my notes here. You would like to overwrite it? Oh, no. I was remembering the old one. Yeah, no, it's not Salmophon I want. It's, uh... Metatron! Alright, well, um... I think what I'm gonna do here is... I'm going to end stream. Because literally, after I punch in these notes, I'm going to stop and... Try to get some food, so... You guys take it easy thank you for stopping by um i appreciate everyone who came by to hang out um definitely helping me out as far as getting um affiliate but um yeah i will be streaming next weekend for sure again i'm going to try to stream um during the week but you know exams are coming up so i don't know how much i'm going to actually be able to do that but we will see uh, take care. All right, Dream. Um, I'll talk to you soon. You guys take it easy.